Well, well, good afternoon, my friends. This is Marvin Colon. Marvin Colon on a special broadcast today, a special live here at Morflix Media through our Morflix streaming services. And welcome, everybody. I, I was, uh, I'm sorry, I was saying a story, and I, I guess we're going we're gonna to talk about a little bit about the story later. Uh, we have a special guest. Uh, we got to break the champagne because this is, other than a, f a few realtors that I had here, local here, this is the first national figure that I, that I have brought here to the studio that we're going to talk to her. What she doing in, in Orlando, in our next of the woods here in beautiful Orlando? Um, and and she's, she's, she's an icon of the industry, the lending industry, housing industry. She's a board member for Morflix, uh, one of our, our, our board members here for the streaming service for the media company, and I really, I really want to thank, thank her for being here. Uh, her name is Laura Brandeo. How you doing, Laura? Hi, everyone. Oh, my God, Marvin, can you believe we are in person? Wow. We are actually here together. After many Zooms, after many uh, virtual events, after many board meetings, after woof, a lot of stuff, you're finally here in, uh, in our beautiful studio here in Orlando, Florida. How you been, and what are you doing here in Orlando? <laughs> well, number one, Marvin, congratulations and kudos for this beautiful studio. I am so impressed in everything that you've done and everything you've put together, and it is truly an honor to be a board member of Mortflix. So first and foremost, great job. Thank Just you. want you to know that. Thank you. So secondly, why am I in Orlando, Florida? I actually just attended the NAM Focus 2022 conference, and I had the privilege of being part of the Women in the Mortgage Industry panel discussion. We had a great discussion and a kickoff to a wonderful event. So Marvin reached out to me and said, hey, wait a minute, are you only, you know, a couple blocks away? You have to come to the studio. And yeah. here I am. Excellent. Yeah, definitely, because you're, you're really close, uh, a few miles from me uh, here in our, in our studio in beautiful South Orlando, in, in Orlando, Florida. And, um, and, and I know you're, you're a member of a lot of boards, a member of a lot of associations. Uh, NAM is a National Association of Mortgage Brokers. So this is, this is a different association of... of like AIM or stuff like that, that you also part of uh, through sponsorship of boards and whatnot. And, um, and, and you're here for one day? That's my understanding. Right? I kind of came in quick. Yeah, I flew in yesterday. <laughs> I did the event today, you know, have some meetings and some different things I'm doing today. But yes, I am back and jetting out tomorrow morning because next week I'm back in um, Atlanta for the next show, which is the EPMX. EPMX, yeah. yes. Yeah, la I, went, I went last year to that one. That one was awesome. We got, I got fl flew through then, you know. Wow. Private jet and everything, but this year I, I couldn't make it. I have some plans that, that I and I'm attending here. I have some appointments building the studio. The studio is not finished yet, um, and indefinitely. And, and, and Laura, how do you see? And let me uh, now. Uh, let me we did the mi micro. Yep. Now let's go the the macro. Let's Got go it. the big picture. Uh, and you are president of AFR. Uh, one of the largest wholesale lenders in the United States. For those that doesn't know, uh, Laura lends money for people that wants to purchase a home, residential lending. Uh, you don't do commercial, just nope, residential. Just okay. residential. Residential lending. And she's one of the, the her AFR is one of the biggest lenders in the United States. What do you see on 2022? That's the main question. I know we had a great 2021. My partner through the brokerage had a great 2021. Close almost 300 files on a little a small group. What do you see for 2022? Listen, we, I, have been in the mortgage industry for a very long time. The mortgage industry is cycles. There's always going to be ups and downs and ins and outs. And 2022 is a great opportunity for so many. We know how many people want to purchase a home. We know the purchase market is going to be bigger than ever in 2022. So sure, if you were mainly focused on refinancing and just rate and term, then possibly this might not be the best time for you. But 
There's equity, more equity in your homes at this time than there has been ever in our history. So it's a wonderful time to take advantage of even pulling out cash out for other wealth opportunities, for other investments that might be out there, for the time of putting away for your kids going to college or doing those renovations. I mean, we've seen so much during COVID where maybe the grandparents want to move in with the rest of the family because it makes sense. Well, now's the time to look at doing cash out, maybe adding on to your home and blending those generations together. It is going to be another new cycle, but it's an amazing time right now. So I am very excited for 2022. Oh, I'm, glad, I'm super glad to hear that. And uh, and I know you and you think you follow the numbers, you follow the trends, and, and, and you know you, definitely you know your stuff. So I'm so happy that, you, that you're part of Morflix, that you're part of the lending industry, housing in total. So uh, I, I think it's going to be a banner. And, and I've seen a little bit of comments or concerns in, in, in Facebook and other, maybe in other groups about uh, rates going little by little sure. up. Uh, they're still low compared to the 80s, definitely super low. But there, people gotta get accustomed to, you, you might not see the rates now on the twos. Uh, you might possibly see on the threes, or depending on your credit, fours. So it's just, it's just it depends. So what, is, what do you say internal does? What, what, what's going on with that part? Right. And as you said, Marvin, it's all relative, right? It's all perspective. When I bought my first home in the mid nineties, my rate was eight and a half. And that was a great rate. Eight and a half was a phenomenal rate. I was thrilled to pay eight and a half. Wow. And you know what? When I refinanced after September 11th and the rates came down, I got six and a quarter. I thought six and a quarter was an amazing rate. I was thrilled at six and a quarter. So isn't it all relative? I would have never in my lifetime have thought I'd see a two in the mortgage world. So sure, are the rates not going to be a two? They're probably not. You probably are going to see a three and a half. You probably are going to see a four possibly. But again, it's all perspective and it's all proper education by people like us that are mortgage professionals, educating our market, educating our consumers and our borrowers and families that we serve to guide them into the best position for themselves as a whole. This is not, we don't just come out when the rates are in the twos. We are there for the long haul through all of their lifetime and every cycle of the mortgage industry to be there for them. Correct, correct. So it doesn't matter. Um, the people had to obviously conserve your credit. Of course. Very important. Of course, yes. So the, the, <laughs> the rate differential between a yeah. 600 and a 720, 740 is, is, is dramatic. It's, Correct. It's incredible. And um, so I, I see continuing from 2020, 2021, and 2022, uh, a lot of volume. And like you said, if you had the equity, a lot of people do. Yeah. Go ahead and, and refinance, get a loan to maybe invest in other stuff, yeah. other properties, maybe other real estate, uh, maybe on renovating your home, rebuilding your home, maybe building another room. Maybe maybe you want to just sell, purchase, and upgrade to something bigger because you 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 think the family uh, is better all together, especially in these times of COVID. Um, and and definitely that's that's a great message from from your part, uh, Laura. Yeah, you have to you know when cycles change, you have to think a little outside the box, and you have to get creative. And yes, is it going to be different? But remember, there's so much opportunity out there and there's so much business to be had. This is an abundant world, more than enough for everyone. So sure, is it, not, is it going to be falling off the trees? Probably not. <laughs> You're probably going to have to actually reach out and make those connections and really educate and be there for our families. But there's more than enough business for all of us. Exactly. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it'll be, you, you still have to go after that lead. Co you know, I saw something a few months ago at the end of the year where 40% of the leads, they go on. That's answer. right. They go on answer. They go on call. They go on follow. They go 40%. 
Yeah. I'm so surprised. Imagine- I'm surprised at 40. I would have thought it higher number because it you are exactly right, Marvin. Wow. Just think about and and don't even get me started about the database. I mean, I I'm so passionate about this, Marvin, of how is it that you go and you buy a car? If we went today and we bought a car, the person would say to you, okay, Marvin, you're going to bring this car back to me in six months and you're going to get a checkup. You're going to get your oil changed, right? Mm -hmm. But how is it that we help someone buy a $500,000 home and then we say, nice knowing you, Marvin. Hope everything's good. How does that happen? Why are we not checking in continually with these families that we have helped to say, Marvin, you know, the rates are still very low. You've got all this equity. It really would be smart if you take that equity and, like you said, buy an investment property, buy a, buy a vacation home, you know, use it for the kids' college, invest it in other things. You have the equity and the rates are still low. How is it that we don't check back? So to your point about the leads, it's the same thing. We have the business. We have the opportunity. But are you going to have to work for it? Yes. Definitely, yeah. You have to follow. Uh, have to. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You're going to have to uh, follow with that lead. When you close, you're supposed to have some system, some CRM, uh, customer, uh, C- CRM customer relation management software that follows for you. Some of the uh, partners, at least on the wholesale and retail, I know retail lending, they do, a w- they do as well, where they, they have those systems for you too. So that way you continue giving them business. They'll go ahead and follow up for you three, and the lead goes to you. Uh, th- th- there was a big, big stuff uh, a few years back about with Anthony and the, <laughs> the bro movement. Yeah. So, few, so it, it, research it, okay? <laughs> so, <laughs> so basically follow up with the lead because that lead, they could, it could give you direct, 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 um, direct business. Or they can refer you more people, their right. friends, their neighbor, their family members. That's how I left. I, I never, what I was originating, I never did a realtor. Mm-hmm. Everything was through the radio. That's why I'm building this because this is pretty much like a radio station here. Online, obviously, not with an antenna. But I always did leads through radio, uh, marketing my name, marvincolon.com. That was my website, and that's it. And I will get a lot of leads, direct leads, not through realtors or anything like that. There's a lot of loan officers, they, they go through their partners, through realtors, which we I encourage that. But the reason, in the, the reason that I did that is more direct, direct to the consumer, direct to the client. Uh, we got in here pre-approved, and very quick, we'll give it to the realtor, so the realtor would, would follow up and get to their house. And I will follow up with my leads. I will follow yeah. up and follow up with the close clients. And from there, I build, I build my business where they will refer me either direct business through them or more business through their friends, family members, their neighbors. So a lot of stuff like that. Yeah. And also anyone that you connect with. Whether they close the file or maybe it's not the right time for them to purchase or not, you need to connect to them on social media because once you connect to them on social media, you can watch what's going on in their life. You can see when they have the new baby. You can see when they get the new puppy. You can see when the kid's graduating high school and going to college. All of those things are triggers so that you have a reason to reach out. You can have a conversation. You can say, oh, congratulations. I just saw that your firstborn graduated high school. Well, how are you planning to pay for college? You know, there might be a good time to sit down. So connect to them. Be relational. You know, at at NAM, I heard a very interesting statistic that I want to share with you guys, right? It's a really good story. Okay, so I like this. So this gentleman got up, and we were speaking about the market in 2022. And he said, you know, I've been in this business forever. And 30 years ago, I attended an MBA conference. And all of a sudden, they wheeled something out onto stage. And it was like one of these old TV carts, right? And it had a big TV on it. And I had a VCR, okay? And, like, they point to the VCR and the TV, and they say, you guys see this? And everybody's like, "Uh uh-huh. They're like, this is what's going to replace the realtors in five years. Now, this is 30 years ago this happened, right? So he points to it, and they're like, 
The way it's going to replace the realtors is that people are going to view listings on VHS tapes. <laughs> And this is how they're going to replace them, right? So we're all laughing, right? We're all smiling. But guys, at the end of the day, people still want the human connection. 30 years later, yes, we use the internet and we use all these online features as tools. But at the end of the day, they need you. Yeah. And I was talking to, I, I don't remember who, but last year I was talking about the last mile. You know, you had the Amazon, the last mile, through Prime, whatever. Yep. We, we are the Prime. We are the last mile. You might do online. Mm -hmm. Everything pretty much is the application. It might be do online. But at least, at least for my Spanish market, uh, that was my main, main concentration, the Spanish market. They want to talk to me in the office. They do. They want to come in. Mm -hmm. And I want to see you. When's the appointment? Can I go Saturday? So that was my main, main uh, thing with the Spanish community. They wanted me to see face-to-face. -face. That's a little bit different now, COVID and, yeah. and, and, and electronic. Uh, pretty much all the applications are now electronic. Uh, I haven't seen a paper application in whew, years. So if, if it's not the, uh, let's say it's a person that is not that internet savvy, you might have their son or their granddaughter or, grand, or whatever applying for them, helping them apply. Uh, but... They, they, the last mile, the loan officer, the realtor is the last mile. mile. I don't think it's ever going to get replaced. I don't think so because the Internet is wonderful for education. It's wonderful for them to research. It's a, obviously technology and, and doing digital applications. We're never going back to paper. We're never going <laughs> to, thank God, we're not doing any of that. But they need the – and the statistic, he also said this person that was speaking – is that it's the younger people that actually want the human connection. Because although they do all their research, they still want someone to explain it to them and they want a level of trust Correct. with someone. Correct, yeah, exactly. It, and if you're face-to-face, -face, and most likely they hear you somewhere in radio or on the internet or, see or whatever. Online, or right? see online, right? Or see online or see on TV, that, that, that's trust. Mm -hmm. And, and that, that, I was told that when I was doing the radio show, where they're telling me, oh, I, I've been hearing you for so many years that I build that trust. Right. That I build That's that trust. part of building that um, you become an authority figure because they've hurt you. Marvin, you came into their home. You drove with them in their car, mm -hmm. right, by being on the radio. Yes. And it's the same thing when you watch a YouTube video or you go on Mortflix and you see people and you listen and you learn. You are now someone they trust. Yeah. And that is what, as an industry, as mortgage and, and real estate and housing professionals, that is something that is very special and we need to continue to do that. Exactly, exactly. And uh, that's part of the reason that I build Morflix. So people can have another option, an exclusive place for housing industry related, lending, real estate, everything that has to do with mortgage, everything that has to do with real estate. Little by little, I think we're going to hit about 500 pieces of content now. So we're building it little by little. We have Laura as one of our board members, obviously, and she's also a content provider. If you have great, exclusive, something nice, something, even if it's through Zoom, whatever, related to housing industry, real estate, mortgage, title, attorney for real estate, anything that has to, anything that touches a house, let me know, content at morflix.com, and I can get you content in, streaming completely free, so hundreds of thousands or millions of people in all these apps can watch your content and uh, at the end of the day, thank you for the content and everything. Tell me, tell me about your show. Tell me what's your wife. <laughs> tell me, I, tell me what's the re how, how do you, first of all, how do you came with the idea for, for your show and, and, yeah. and tell the audience what, what your show is all about? I'm, I'm going to tell you where it came from. I love our industry. I love the people in our industry. But when I started in the industry many years ago, we were looked upon, mortgage people, were looked upon as they're in it for the money. They're just going to charge you points, and they're going to charge you fees, and they're, they're not really going to guide you through or educate you. So our, our reputation was not the best, 
And then look what happened. We went into the subprime crash. You know, <laughs> then the next thing that happened is we caused all these people to lose their homes and, and we put people in bad loans. So our reputation was never really, oh, I'm proud to be a mortgage professional. Yeah. Well, I disagree. I have met so many wonderful people and I know that everyone's heart is in the right place. So when I was thinking about what can I do a podcast on, what can I do a show on, I decided I wanted to spotlight mortgage professionals, but not for the loans they do, not for how much production they've done. I want to know why they continue to be a mortgage professional. And I also have them share, give me a story where you realize the monumental impact that you've had on a family. And I allow them, I mean, a lot of times, I mean, people cry. They cry sharing their story. And then I ask them what impact they want to leave behind in our industry. And it shows us in a different way. It shows us showing our heart instead of speaking just about transactions. Yeah, no, it's, it's an incredible show. Um, and, and you get so many amazing interviews. And wow, that that's one of our greatest, one of our top top three top shows in Morflix. Uh, every Wednesday at 7 a.m., uh, we stream it live on all the apps. And wow, it's it's just incredible show. And I really thank you for for being on Morflix and to have that great, awesome show and and for being part of of Morflix Morflix Media as, as a board member. And uh, definitely, it's, it's great to have you. And I know that throughout the year you do a lot of a lot of events, a lot of shows. You guys have one. Uh, one of my other board members is gonna have another one. Mitch is gonna have one February twenty second, and that one uh, that's that's the picture on the screen right now. That one is gonna be awesome. Can you can you tell us a little bit more about this? Uh, I know he's gonna have other other. It's on a on a on teens, so it's Tino twos mm -hmm. that he's yep. gonna have like four, like three more, four more teens for you and uh, and we and, and Christine. Uh, shout out to Christine. <laughs> I, I know yeah, she's one of my friends. I'll I'll tag her later on this video. But tell me tell me about this show and also what what's coming up for you. In, yep. in, the next six months or this year, what are you planning to do? Sure, absolutely. Yes, this particular event I'm very excited about. Listen, it is 2022. So we had a play off of the twos, right? Mm -hmm. So the event is going to be, like you said, on 2 22 22. Wow. So two, 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 two. Awesome, <laughs> awesome. 22, two, 22, 22. Correct. Wow, cool, really all right. cool. So it's going to be on all twos, and we are doing dynamic duos. And yes, I have the honor and privilege and joy of doing it with my best friend, Christine Beckwith. And when Christine and I came together a couple weeks ago to say, what are we going to speak about? We said, well, the biggest topic in our industry right now is change. So we decided that we're going to do our discussion on pivoting and adapting to change. So Christine is going to take it from one perspective, kind of like the sales perspective. She's going to be speaking about leads and CRMs, and she's going to be speaking about that. And I'm going to be speaking about the psychological side and the mindful side of what it takes internally in our brains and in ourselves to adjust to change. So we're going to tag team it and do it in two sections, and that will be our topic. Awesome, awesome. So remember, if you need the link to register for this, let me know. Contact me through whatever social media you see me right now. Uh, content at morflix.com or marvin at morflix.com so that way I can send you the link so you can register uh, maybe I can add it later on the edit so we'll see uh, so that one is going to be an awesome awesome event uh, and, and what else are you planning uh, through the year? Um, so, yep, so I'm here at now. one on the then, February. And yeah, then we've now. got EPMX uh, next yeah. week on the 28th of January. Then I'll be speaking at the Lenders One let me Conference. See, let me see if we can email email um, Jason or maybe Eddie and, and see if we can uh, – 
possibly cover cover that show and, and maybe go a day. It's an Atlanta. It's it not, is. It's not that. Far. It's one hour plane ride away. Uh, so I'm, I'm, let me let me find out if I can. Uh, oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, me. Oh, look, look at oh, that. Look. Here we are. We're oh, together. Oh, cool. <laughs> right, fine. I discovered something. Hey, today. we learned something. <laughs> so uh, I'll leave it like that. <laughs> so let me see if I can contact them to see if I can cover that one. At least go for a day, maybe or two days. We'll see. Yeah, the, he, there's a lot of big speakers that are going to be there, yeah. so it's going to be an interesting one. Yeah, and what else do you, you have coming up? Then I have Lenders One. I'm speaking at Lend Lenders One um, is actually in Phoenix, which is nice because I don't have to travel. I just get to drive there. That one I'm very excited about. For the very first time, we're doing a mentor-mentee discussion. So I have the, the honor, again, of having a girl that I'm mentoring in our industry is coming out, and we are going to present What's the importance of having a mentor in the mortgage industry, someone that can guide you, someone that can open doors for you? As a matter of fact, this will be her very first time she's ever been on a stage, and I'm giving her that opportunity. She was on our pod. She was actually on What's Your Why. Okay. Um, so that's what we're speaking about, and I'm really happy about that because I think that's something that needs to be discussed even more in our Cause, industry cause, cause so that should be interesting basically getting a mentor or or having a, a mentor tra trainer i mean it could it could take you business to wow well, yeah times guide, two, your guide. times three correct times five sometimes times ten mm -hmm. so having a good trainer mentor or a mentor it, it could take you business to the next level to to and then wow lenders one yeah. i th i think i did approach and I, I'll, I'll contact them to see if we, we can do something with more click yeah i know their president and and brian too no sense yes exactly that's yeah. right brian will be there yeah. that's right so cool brian brian bukes is gonna be there yeah. too phil locker he has fintech fridays every friday yes laura has uh was you why wednesdays every wednesday morning seven uh, seven in the and now morning. you have a new show right that's i have industry partner tuesdays that start next week i'm gonna send the invite you're gonna have that invite i think i can put this one as uh, industry partners and 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 i i think i might be able to put that one too awesome. but i'll send the invite if you want to come in uh through remote let me know i'm gonna invite everybody i'm gonna invite a bunch of content providers mostly people that do content already uh people that haven't sent content but they're planning to send and a couple of lenders i'm, I'm gonna invite matt we'll see awesome. he, he told me ah, anytime whatever you <laughs> and i haven't i haven't properly fixed it now it's i think it feels feel comfortable enough to yeah. um to to have somebody come in live um Laura, it's been This awesome. was great. It's awesome, been, Marvin. It was so nice that I got to see the studio. Like I said, congratulations. It's amazing, and we can't wait till we do it again. Thank you. Thank you. Definitely. And uh, you're, you're part of Morphix. What else can I say? You, 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 you're my guy. You, <laughs> I'm you're here. here for me. I'm so, here. <laughs> so I really thank you. Thank you for that. And, and I, you're a busy person, and you take out of your busy schedule. Uh, and I really appreciate it. Thank you for the My pleasure. My friends, continue watching. Uh, if you're watching this on the replay, I might update with the invite for the event on 2-2-2-2-22-22. <laughs> so uh, keep you posted. Uh, shout out to everybody, and I'll see you soon.